Hello and welcome to the 2021 Berwick Area Senior High School Senior Awards Ceremony. I'm High School Principal Amy Melchiori and I'd like to thank you all for participating in this event. This virtual platform is a first for Berwick, but it's one of many firsts this year has brought us. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge a few staff members who have worked tirelessly to make this event possible. From our guidance department, Mr. Seeley and Ms. Melito. Our awards coordinators, Ms. Solhusky, Mrs. Curry, and Mrs. Mellock. They have spent countless hours organizing this event, which is a giant task. I'd also like to thank Mrs. Julie Sarasoli Kishpal and Mrs. Marina Davenport for putting together this virtual presentation. Another very special thank you to all of our award and scholarship sponsors. Your generosity and support of our students is beyond appreciated. The fact that we had such a great response in these uncertain times is remarkable. This is just one more example of how well our students and our school are supported by our community. Our students have spent years working hard to prove themselves as worthy recipients of such prominent awards. Thank you for making it all worth it. Lastly, thank you to our students. Thank you for persevering through a year of twists, turns, cancellations, and reschedulings. As this year comes to a close, please take a moment to recognize and appreciate all of your accomplishments. Also, to the parents, guardians, and family members of our students, thank you for your unyielding support and dedication. At this time, I'd like to take a moment to announce our Distinguished Honor and Honor Graduates for the Class of 2021. Our Distinguished Honor Graduates have earned an A average of 93 or above throughout their four years at BHS. They will be wearing a gold sash at graduation. Honor Graduates have earned an average between 90 and 92.99 throughout their four years at BHS. Honor Graduates will be wearing a white sash at graduation. The following are the class of 2021 Distinguished Honor Graduates. Mariana Betterly, Isaiah Bonboy, Kennedy Brown, Abigail Calvert, Blaine Cleaver, Alexis Comensis, Madison Culver, Eliza Dunn, Matthew Ebert, Marina Farrow, Clara Fish, Claudia Geyser, Emily Getty, Michaela Hartzell, Natasha Hoke, Carly Hauer, Robert Hubley, Mason Huntington, Genevieve Johnson, Maya Kyle, Brennan Kirshner, Olivia Kishball, Aliyah Katarski, Ellie Kozak, Harley Litweiler, Callie McCourt, Gianna Miller, Rennie Murphy, Alexis Neville, Jacqueline Neville, Annika Newcomer, Logan Noroski, Emily Novicki, Shannon O'Neill, Emily Wiemet, Anjani Peters, Caden Reeder, Abigail Seely, Isabella Segura Suarez, Maria Gabriela Segura Suarez, Samuel Segura Suarez, Sean Sheptop, Olivia Schultz, Brianna Slusser, Aubrey Stever, Amelia Timbrell, Logan Whitner and Taylor Wodeshek. The following are the class of 2021 honor graduates. Tanner Allen, Adam Anderson, Sydney Borum, Caitlin Gusek, Zachariah Demko, Jasmine Donlin, Annalise Eisenhower, Haley Fetter, Jaden Gregory, Sydney Greshko, Estefani Guzman, Glorimar Guzman, Hannah Hess, Genevieve Kinney, Lucas Knorr, Jordan Kopak, Jake Lanning, Brendan Levan, Malia Mason, Regan Metz, Kevin Powers, Trinity Ruth, Tegan Shortledge, Sarah Schultz, Paviel Vosberg, Sabrina Wildoner, and Sierra Yoder. Finally, it is my distinct pleasure to announce the class of 2021's salutatorian, Mariana Betterly, and the class of 2021's valedictorian, Marina Farrow. Congratulations to all and thank you. Adam Anderson was a recipient of the Berwick Area Little League Award in the amount of $100 and the Michael F. Post Memorial Baseball Award in the amount of $100. Mariana Betterly was a recipient of the Knights of Columbus number 33 
one scholarship in the amount of $500, the Douglas A. LeVan Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, the CGF Mary Scholarship Fund in the amount of $500, the Nescapec Elementary Pine Alumni Award in the amount of $100, and the Academic Hall of Fame John Lanning Band Award in the amount of $200. Isaiah Bomboy was the recipient of the Bloomsburg Sons of the American Legion Squadron Number no. 273 Award in the amount of $750, as well as the GCF Frank Suchak Scholarship in the amount of $250. Caitlin Busek was the recipient of the Swim Team Award in the amount of $50. Kennedy Brown was the recipient of the Berwick Youth Football League Alumni Award in the amount of $100, the Walter Lutz Memorial Award in the amount of $500, the Sesame Salem Alumni Award in the amount of $200, and the CGF Russell Zimmerman Memorial Award in the amount of $500. Abigail Calvert was the recipient of the CGF Berwick Health and Wellness Health Profession Scholarship in the amount of $625, the Douglas A. LeVan Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, and the CGF Walter and Florence Verbleski Scholarship in the amount of $1,000. Cole Campbell was a recipient of the Mary Rudy Serdinsky Award in the amount of $100. Hagen Carroll was the recipient of the CGF Justin P. Slusser Award in the amount of $600 and the Swim Team Award in the amount of $50. Hannah Clark was a recipient of the Mary Rudy Stradinsky Award in the amount of $100. Blaine Cleaver was a recipient of the CGF 12th Man Football Academic Scholarship in the amount of $600, the Berwick Youth Football League Alumni Award in the amount of $100, the Cajun Kindness Award in the amount of $500, the CGF Catholic War Veterans Post 1419 Scholarship in the amount of $500, the James J. Cerise Senior Memorial Award in the amount of $500, the George Curry Scholarship in the amount of $125, the CGF Holy Family Scholastic Award in the amount of $1,000, the Kiwanis Achievement Award in the amount of $400, the Middle School Scholarship in the amount of $50, the Nescapec Elementary Pine Alumni Award in the amount of $100, the SJD Scholarship in the amount of $55, the Unico Scholarship in the amount of $750, and the United Way Award in the amount of $100. Alexis Kamunsis was the recipient of the CGF Mary Scholarship Fund in the amount of $500. Caitlin Crane was a recipient of the Unico Life Skills Award in the amount of $100. Madison Culver was the recipient of the School Counts Award in the amount of $100. Zachariah Demko was a recipient of the Berwick Russian Club Award in the amount of $200. The Gabriel J. Scala Law Enforcement Award in the amount of $100. The CGF Frank Suchak Scholarship in the amount of $200. The CGF Walter Verbleski Scholarship in the amount of $300. The West Berwick Elementary School Award in the amount of $100, and the Academic Hall of Fame John Lanning Business Award in the amount of $200. Eliza Dunn was a recipient of the CGF Holy Family Scholarship Award in the amount of $1,000. Annalise Eisenhower was a recipient of the CGF Frank Suchak Scholarship in the amount of $800 the Swim Team Award in the amount of $50, and the Academic Hall of Fame John Lanning Orchestra Award in the amount of $200.
Haley Fetter was a recipient of the CGF Susquehanna Arts and Crafts Scholarship in the amount of $600. Marina Farrow was a recipient of the Band Booster Award in the amount of $200. The CGF BASD Trust Award in the amount of $3,300. The Cajun Kindness Award in the amount of $500. The first Keystone Community Bank Distin Distinguished Award in the amount of $100. The Odyssey of the Mind Scholarship in the amount of $1,000. The Unico Scholarship in the amount of $1,000. And the West Berwick Elementary School Award in the amount of $100. Clara Fish was the recipient of the Mayo Scholastic Achievement Award in the amount of $300 and the CGF Frank Suchak Scholarship in the amount of $1,000. Julia Frankford was a recipient of the Professor Russell and Louise Llewellyn Memorial Award in the amount of $300, and the CGF the Mary Scholarship Fund in the amount of $500. Claudia Geyser was a recipient of the CGF C&D Golf Award in the amount of $100, the Cajun Kindness Award in the amount of $500, the Rags Reagan Memorial Golf Award in the amount of $500, the CGF Don Ruggiero Athletic Award in the amount of $500, the Sesame Salem Alumni Award in the amount of $200, and the CGF Coach Mike C. Scala Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $250. Emily Getty was a recipient of the Michael J. Kerfman Award in the amount of $250, the Milko Industry Science Award in the amount of $1,000, the Student Times Award in the amount of $100, the Unico Scholarship in the amount of $250, the CGF Walter Verbleski Scholarship in the amount of $250, the Academic Hall of Fame Winifred Myers Love AP Physics Award in the amount of $200, and the Academic Hall of Fame Hobart F. Heller Memorial Math Mathematics Award in the amount of $200. Estefani Guzman is a recipient of the BASD Teachers Memorial Award in the amount of $250, the Barbara Haupt Scholarship in the amount of $250, the CGF Individual Achievement Award in the amount of $100, the Nick and Helen Maranakis Scholarship in the amount of $100, and the CGF Frank Sushak Scholarship in the amount of $300. Michaela Hartzell is a recipient of the Bloomsburg Sons of the American Legion Squadron No. 273 Award in the amount of $750 and the Frank Elms Memorial Award in the amount of $438.30. Dara Haas is the recipient of the CGF Class of 1950 Award in the amount of $1,000. Hannah Hess is the recipient of the Cajun Kindness Award in the amount of $500. The Dr. Jenna R. Scala Special Education Award in the amount of $300. The Stuart Tank Memorial Association Scholarship in the amount of $500. The Softball Award in the amount of $150. The CGF Dwayne Tressler Memorial Athletic Scholarship in the amount of $250. The CGF Walter Verbleski Scholarship in the amount of $500. Natasha Hope is the recipient of the H. Carlton Ermish Memorial Award in the amount of $225. Carly Hauer is the recipient of the Frank Elms Memorial Award in the amount of $438.30. The CGF David L. Force Trust Award in the amount of $300. The Douglas A. LeVan Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000. The CGF Fred A. Takis Scholarship in the amount of $700. The CGF Robert J. Wise Family Scholarship in the amount of $580. And the Academic Hall of Fame John Landing Business Award in the amount of $200. Robert Hubley is the recipient of the Middle School Award for $50. The Sesame Salem Alumni Award in the amount of $200 
and the swim team award in the amount of $50. Maya Kyle is a recipient of the CGF Beyond Cage and Thiveridge, Thiveridge Scholarship in the amount of $450, the Mary Elms Memorial Award in the amount of $3,669.91, the Tim Jones Memorial Award in the amount of $100, the Douglas A. LeVan Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, the Nick and Helen Maranakis Scholarship in the amount of $100, the CGF Marie Rudy Music Scholarship in the amount of $900, the CGF Dr. Ralph J. and R.J. Norse Strive Scholarship in the amount of $500 and the Student Times Award in the amount of $100. Genevieve Kinney is the recipient of the Horizons Award in the amount of $100, the CGF Robert H. Nash Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,400, and the Swim Team Award in the amount of $50. Brennan Kirshner is a recipient of the CGF Individual Achievement Award in the amount of $100, the CGF Frank Suchak Scholarship in the amount of $700, the Academic Hall of Fame, Fame Winifred Myers Love of English Award in the amount of $200, Olivia Kishball is a recipient of the CGF Individual Achievement Award in the amount of $100. Brian Knorr is a recipient of the CGF 12th Man Football Academic Scholarship in the amount of $200. The Bloomsburg American Legion Post 273 Award in the amount of $1,000. The CGF Individual Achievement Award in the amount of $100. The CGF Fritz Catman Saraceno Award in the amount of $100. Lucas Knorr is a recipient of the Class of 1934 Dorothy Eshelman Award in the amount of $400. The First Columbia Bank and Trust Award in the amount of $500. The CGF Frank Suchak Scholarship in the amount of $100. Ellie Kozak is a recipient of the CGF Catholic War Veterans Post 1419 Scholarship in the amount of $500, the Knapp Lodge Award in the amount of $500, the Knights of Columbus No. 3301 Scholarship in the amount of $500, the Douglas A. LeVan Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, the Nescapec Elementary Pine Alumni Award in the amount of $100, the Rotary Scholarship in the amount of $500, and the Academic Hall of Fame Volunteer Volunteerism Award in the amount of $200. Jake Lanning is a recipient of the CGF 12th Man Football Academic Scholarship in the amount of $300, the Cajun Kindness Award in the amount of $500, the George Curry Scholarship in the amount of $125, the Tony and Lucy Rado Football Award in the amount of $1,000, the Swing Choir Dedication Award in the amount of $100. The Academic Hall of Fame Volunteerism Award in the amount of $200. Harley Litweiler is a recipient of the Linda Cashman Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500. The CGF Ronald L. Garrison Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $300. And the Martha Kirshner Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $548.22. Kira Mensinger is a recipient of the Cajun Kindness Award in the amount of $500, the Teresa Lavecchio Yako Memorial Award in the amount of $1,000. Reagan Metz is the recipient of the Cross Country Alumni Scholarship in the amount of $100 and the Rick Heller Memorial Award in the amount of $100. Heaven Metzger is a recipient of the Frank Elms Memorial Award in the amount of $438.30, the Douglas A. LeVan Memorial Scholarship Award in the amount of $1,000, the Nescapec Pine Alumni Award in the amount of $100, and the Westboro Elementary Award in the amount of $100. Gianna Miller is a recipient of the CGF Berwick Health and Wellness Health Profession Scholarship in the amount of $625. The Business and Professional Women Award in the amount of 
the Cajun Kindness Award in the amount of $500, the Independent Bikers Federation Award in the amount of $500, the Douglas A. LeVan Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, the Swing Choir Dedication Award in the amount of $100, the Unico Scholarship in the amount of $250, and the West Berwick Elementary School Award in the amount of $100. Rennie Murphy was a recipient of the first Keystone Community Bank Steve Schumann Girls Basketball Award in the amount of $100 and United States Naval Academy Scholarship in the amount of $385,000. Samara Murray was a recipient of the Knapp Lodge Award in the amount of $500 and the Gabriel J. Scala Law Enforcement Award in the amount of $250. Alexis Neville was a recipient of the Rose A. in Yearbook Award in the amount of $200, the Berwick Area Ambulance Association William Langdon Award in the amount of $1,000, the CGF Berwick Health and Wellness Health Profession Scholarship in the amount of $625, the Cajun Kindness Award in the amount of $500, the Elks C. Bennett Dry Award in the amount of $100. The Horizons Award in the amount of $100. The Medicine Shop Award in the amount of $500. The Nescapec Alumni Award in, in the amount of $100. The Nescapec Elementary Pine Alumni Award in the amount of $100. The CGF Walter Verbleski Scholarship in the amount of $250. The CGF Walter and Florence Verble Verbleski Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 and the Academic Hall of Fame Arthur K. Wark Journalism Award in the amount of $200. Jacqueline Neville was a recipient of the Nescapec Alumni Award in the amount of $100, the Nescapec Elementary Pine Alumni Award in the amount of $100, the Gabriel J. Scala Law Enforcement Award in the amount of $250, the Paul J. and Marion S. Stanko Memorial Award in the amount of $500, and the C.G.F. Walter Verbleski Scholarship in the amount of $250. Annika Newcomer was a recipient of the Frank Elms Memorial Award in the amount of $438.30, the Douglas A. LeVan Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, and the Wallace Oratorical Award in the amount of $107.67. Logan Narosky was a recipient of the BIDA Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, the Elks C. Bennett Dry Award in the amount of $400, the First Keystone Community Bank Senior Community Service Award in the amount of $100, the Giuseppe Garibaldi Society Award in the amount of $1,000, the Douglas A. LeVan Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, Nescapec Elementary Pine Alumni Award in the amount of $100, the Odyssey of the Mind Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, the Day Turner Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $3,000, the Women's Civics Club Award in the amount of $100, and the Academic Hall of Fame Winifred Myers Love AP Physics Award in the amount of $200. Emily Novicki was a recipient of the Berwick Area Little League Award in the amount of $100, the Brent LeVan Memorial Award in the amount of $100, the Softball Award in the amount of $150, the CGF Frank Suchak Scholarship in the amount of $550, and the Jerry Waltman Scholarship in the amount of $250. Shannon O'Neill was a recipient of the BAST Teachers Memorial Award in the amount of $250, the CGF Beyond Cajun Thivridge Scholarship in the amount of $450, the CGF Walter Verbleski Scholarship in the amount of $500, and the Academic Hall of Fame Winifred Myers Love English Award in the amount of $200. Emily We Met was a recipient of the Baccalaureate Scholarship in the amount of $100, the Cajun Kindness Award in the amount of $500, the Kiwanis Achievement Award in the amount of $400, the Douglas A. LeVan Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, the Model Student Award in the amount of $500, the CGF Steve Mark Nestelli Scholarship in the amount of $200, Nescapec Elementary Pine Alumni Award in the amount of $100, 
the SJD scholarship in the amount of $55, the CGF George Skumsky Athletic Scholarship in the amount of $1,200. Nicholas Perry was the recipient of the CGF Fred A. Takis Scholarship in the amount of $700. Anjani Peters was a recipient of the Cajun Kindness Award in the amount of $750. The Elks C. Bennett Dry Award in the amount of $200. The Frank Elms Memorial Award in the amount of $438.30. The First Keystone Community Bank Senior Community Service Award in the amount of $100. The Giuseppe Garibaldi Society Award in the amount of $1,000. The Kenneth and Barbara Hoke Community Service Award in the amount of $400. The Douglas A. Levan Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000. The C. G. F. Dale A. and Fern S. Kuroli Veterans Scholarship in the amount of $500. The Unico Scholarship in the amount of $500. The C. G. F. Walter Fableski Scholarship in the amount of $300. The CGF Robert J. Wise Family Scholarship in the amount of $580. The Academic Hall of Fame Arthur K. Wark Journalism Award in the amount of $200. And the Academic Hall of Fame Reverend Mangle M Memorial Award in the amount of $200. Caden Reeder was a recipient of the CGF Berwick Health and Wellness Health Profession Scholarship in the amount of $625. The Frank Elms Memorial Award in the amount of $438.30. The Claire H. Kinney Scholarship in the amount of $12,000. The Knapp Lodge Scholarship in the amount of $500. The Model Student Award in the amount of $500. Nescapec Alumni Award in the amount of $100. Nescapec Elementary Pine Alumni Award in the amount of $100. The CGF Dr. Mike Mark C. Piles Scholarship in the amount of $600. The CGF Walter Verbleski Scholarship in the amount of $250. The CGF Walter Verbleski Scholarship in the amount of $1,000. The CGF Walter and Florence Verbleski Scholarship in the amount of $1,000. The Academic Hall of Fame John Landing AP Biology Award in the amount of $200. Ashley Rupert was a recipient of the Linda Cashman Memorial Award in the amount of $500. Abigail Seely is a recipient of the DAR Good Citizens Award in the amount of $250, the Douglas A. Levan Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, the Odyssey of the Mind Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, the M&T Bank Walter Verbleski Business Award in the amount of $200, and the CGF Walter Verbleski Scholarship in the amount of $1,000. Isabella Segura Suarez is a recipient of the Berwick's Lions Club Scholarship in the amount of $250, the Cajun Kindness Award in the amount of $1,500, the Kiwanis Service Award in the amount of $400, the Douglas A. LeVan Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, the Ray and Edna McBride Scholarship in the amount of $88.50, the Gabriel J. Scala Law Enforcement Award in the amount of $500, the Spanish Award in the amount of $100, the CGF Robert J. Wise Family Scholarship in the amount of $580, and the Women's Civic Award in the amount of $100. Maria Gabriela Segura Suarez is a recipient of the Berwick Lions Club Scholarship in the amount of $250, the Business and Professional Women Award in the amount of $500, the Cajun Kindness Award in the amount of $1,000, the Douglas A. LeVan Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000. The Ray and Edna McBride Scholarship in the amount of $88.50. The Zachariah Raidler Memorial Award in the amount of $1,000. And the CGF Robert J. Wise Family Scholarship in the amount of $580. Samuel Segura Suarez is a recipient of the Alexis Nicole Humphrey Memorial Award in the amount of $300, the Ray and Edna McBride Scholarship in the amount of $88.50, the CGF Mark Nestelli, Steve Mark Nestelli Scholarship in the amount of $200, the CGF Luis A. Ramos Scholarship in the amount of 
the CGF Robert J. Wise Family Scholarship in the amount of $580, and the Academic Hall of Fame John Lanning Overall Music Award in the amount of $200. Sean Sheptock is a recipient of the CGF 12th Man Football Academic Scholarship in the amount of $800 and the Bart Rado Senior Memorial Award in the amount of $200. Tegan Shortledge is the recipient of the Harold Border Memorial Award in the amount of $300, the Unico Joe DiMaggio Award in the amount of $300, the Douglas A. LeVan Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, and the Nescapec Elementary Pine Alumni Award in the amount of $100. Olivia Schultz is a recipient of the Band Booster Award in the amount of $200 and the CGF, the Mary Scholarship Fund in the amount of $500. Dakota Snyder is a recipient of the Unico Life Skills Award in the amount of $100. Aubrey Stever is a recipient of the CGF Berwick Health and Wellness Health Profession Scholarship in the amount of $625, the Barbara DeJohn Domenico Denny Award in the amount of $100, the CGF Sharon Sherry Sporer Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $600, and the CGF Walter and Florence Fobleski Scholarship in the amount of $1,000. Margaret Thomas is the recipient of the CGF Individual Achievement Award in the amount of $100. Amelia Timbrell is the recipient of the Band Booster Award in the amount of $200. Nathan Traw is the recipient of the CGF 12th Man Football Academic Scholarship in the amount of $200. Isaac Tripp is a recipient of the CGF 12th Man Football Academic Scholarship in the amount of $200. Mackenzie Waltman is a recipient of the Softball Award in the amount of $150 and the CGF Tuesday Award. Jason Whitebread is a recipient of the CGF The Mary Scholarship Fund in the amount of $500 and the Rotary Bud Beyer Memorial Student Athlete Scholarship in the amount of $250. Logan Whitner is a recipient of the Douglas A. LeVan Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000. The Nescapec Class of 1967 Award in the amount of $100. The Nescapec Elementary Pine Alumni Award in the amount of $100. And the Odyssey of the Mind Scholarship in the amount of $1,000. Taylor Woodishek is a recipient of the Cajun Kindness Award in the amount of $500, the Kiwanis Achievement Award in the amount of $400, the Knapp Lodge Award in the amount of $500, the CGF Patrick J. Matucci Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500, the CGF Ruth Peck Matsko RN and Michael J. Matsko MD Scholarship in the amount of $600, the Nescapec Elementary Pine Alumni Award in the amount of $100, the SJD Scholarship in the amount of $55, the Jerry Waltman Scholarship in the amount of $250, the Academic Hall of Fame John Lanning AP Biology Award in the amount of $200, and the Academic Hall of Fame John Lanning Vocal Award in the amount of $200. Sierra Yoder is a recipient of the CGF The Mary Scholarship Fund in the amount of $500 and the Ski Club Award in the amount of $100. The following are individual presentations from some of our generous donors. Very good. Thank you, Principal McCurry, and uh, congratulations to all you seniors on your upcoming graduation. Uh, I'd like to point out that this uh, award was funded by the original founders of the 12th Man Club, realizing the importance of academic performance. They wanted to establish the resources that would be available every year to recognize those senior football players who were high academic performers. And this year, with the help of the staff at the guidance office, and after collaborating with athletic director Bolo Orlando and coach Steve Francisco, 
I'm happy to announce or present this year's recipients of the 12th Man Club's Academic Awards. And Blaine Cleaver will be receiving a $600 award. And Brian Norton will be receiving $200. Jake Lanning receives a $300 award. I have a, an $800 award for Sean Sheptock. Nathan Traw receives a $200 award. Isaac Tripp will be receiving a $200 award. The Barwick Women's Civics Club was founded in 1938. We do a lot of community service uh, to better the community, uh, particularly focusing on the welfare of youth. We have two scholarship winners that uh, are being awarded a $200 check for their community service they've been, they have provided throughout their four years in high school. The male winner is Logan Narosky. The female winner is Isabella Segura Suarez. Making a decision on this year's senior softball award was not an easy one. Our team has four seniors who have all contributed to the team in different ways. This group has been through a lot in the past two years. We fundraised for a spring trip to Tennessee, only to have a season end after two weeks of practice. We had high hopes to return this year, however, we continued to fight against the pandemic over a year later. Even though our spring trip never happened, we are so grateful that we've been able to give this group of girls a senior softball season. As stated, with all this group has been through the past two years, we felt we could not select just one senior for this award. Our seniors make up most of our starting infield at third base, shortstop, second base, and pitching. They are key pieces of our defense. Offensively, they are the top four hitters in the lineup, and when we get them on base, good things happen. They have been dedicated to leading our team, and for these reasons, we chose to share the award amongst all four of them. With the ever-changing daily schedules, we are thankful we have been able to get them on the field this year. Their careers as Bulldogs are not done yet as we finish off the regular season and look forward to making a run through the playoffs. Congratulations to Hannah Hess, one of the recipients of the Berwick Softball Award. We wish her luck at King's College. Congratulations to Emily Novicki, one of the recipients of the Berwick Softball Award. We wish her luck at King's College. Congratulations to Mackenzie Waltman, one of the recipients of this year's Berwick Softball Award. We wish her luck at Indiana University of Pennsylvania. My name is David Howe, and I serve as the commander of Father Albanese Catholic War Veterans Post 1419 here in Berwick. Again, this year, the CWV has a, had a difficult time, uh, decision to select the, uh, the awards between several outstanding candidates. It is my pleasure to award the Catholic War Veterans Home Association $500 college scholarship for the year 2021 to two graduating seniors from Berwick High School. As in the past, one female and one male awardee is made each year. This year's recipients are Ellie Kozak, and this year's male awardee is Blaine Cleaver. Congratulations and good luck. Hi, I'm Mike Paulus, and uh, the two winners of the Jerry Waltman Scholarship are Emily Novicki and Taylor Woodishek. Congratulations and good luck in college. The Douglas LeVan Scholarship winners are Marianna Betterly, Hi, Mariana. Uh, there are traditionally three recipients of the John Lane Memorial Scholarship, one for band, one for orchestra, and one for overall music. Uh, I'm happy to announce that you've been selected for the band portion of that. Uh, it was really nice getting to know you this year, and I know no matter what you end up doing, you will be successful. The Douglas LeVan Scholarship winners are Abigail Calvert. Hello. On behalf of Marianne Kovaleski and in memory of her mother, I would like to present the Mary Rudy Sudinsky Scholarship. This scholarship goes to two senior learning support students who have demonstrated high moral standards and have been accepted into post-secondary education. Tonight's winner of the Mary Rudy Sudinsky Scholarship goes to Cole Campbell. 
After battling stage 4 melanoma for over three years, Justin Slusser, affectionately known by his friends as Pete, lost his battle just one week shy of his 30th birthday. Justin graduated from Berwick High School in the class of 2007 and went on to get a degree in civil engineering from Penn State. To keep his memory and spirit alive, a group of Justin's family and friends got together and started a scholarship to go to a Berwick High School senior uh, planning on attending Penn State. Throughout Justin's battle with cancer, he stayed true to himself. His sense of humor and genuine spirit never faulted. So for the essay for this scholarship, we asked students to tell us what their most unwavering character trait is and why it's important for them to stay true to themselves. We picked the student that we think best embodies these qualities. This student is attending Penn State in the fall for chemical engineering. The student we picked is Hagen Carroll. Congratulations. Hello, on behalf of Marianne Kobaleski and in memory of her mother, I would like to present the Mary Rudy Serdinsky Scholarship. The Mary Rudy Serdinsky Scholarship goes to two senior learning support students who have demonstrated high morals, standards, and have been accepted into post-secondary education. Tonight's winner is Hannah Clark. Hi Blaine. On behalf of the Cerise family, I would like to congratulate you as this year's recipient of the James J. Cerise Sr. Memorial Scholarship. You seem like such a remarkable young man. I'm amazed at all you've accomplished in your short life, and I have all the confidence in the world that you will go far in whatever you put your mind to. I'd like to wish you all the best in your future endeavors. And again, on behalf of myself, my sister Donna, and my brother Jimmy, I would like to again congratulate you on this award. Good luck and God bless. Hi, I'm Erin Shortledge and I'm the Community Impact Coordinator at the Berwick Area United Way. I'd like to thank all seniors who applied for this year's Volunteerism Award. And I would really like to congratulate the class of 2021 for enduring such a crazy senior year this year. Um, this year's 2021 Berwick Area United Way Volunteerism Award goes to Blaine Cleaver. Good day. My name is Colonel Dan Braun with the United States Military Academy Admissions Field Force here in Pennsylvania. And it's my great pleasure to present a certificate of appointment to Blaine Cleaver. Let me read this certificate to you. Certificate of appointment. On behalf of the President of the United States of America and the United States Military Academy Admissions Committee, I take great pleasure in presenting this certificate of appointment to Blaine Joseph Cleaver for the class of 2025. Signed, Darrell Williams, Lieutenant General, United States Army, Superintendent. Blaine, this is a very significant accomplishment and I congratulate you heartily. Not only will you receive a full scholarship equivalent to one of the Ivy League schools in the nation, one of the best academic institutions available to the nation, but you will also receive the world's best leader development training that exists anywhere in the world. Once again, congratulations and go Army, beat Navy. Thank you. Hi. I'm Michelle Bauer Kozak, and I'm here to represent First Keystone Community Bank. We at First Keystone Community Bank want to congratulate Berwick Senior High School Class of 2021 and wish you the best and all the success in your future. Our first award is the Distinguished Citizens Award, Marina Farah. Hi, Marina. Congratulations. I am pleased to announce that you are one of three people chosen for the Band Booster Scholarship. Um, I hope the scholarship will serve you well in your future. I know you will be very successful no matter what you do. Hi, Julia. Uh, you have been selected as the recipient of the Prof. Russell Llewellyn Scholarship. Now, as you probably know, Prof. Russell Llewellyn is the famed band director at Berwick. And 
this is for this award uh, it goes to students who embody his character uh, with who have an immense love passion and dedication and talent for music and I couldn't think of anyone more uh, worthy of this uh, this award congratulations and uh, good luck in the future the Ruggiero family is here to present the Don Ruggiero Athletic Scholarship our family created the scholarship after the passing of our father from Lewy body dementia in 2014. It is our hope his memory will live on through a financial contribution supporting a Berwick area high school senior athlete who is pursuing a secondary education in a health related field. After careful consideration, our family would like to recognize the Berwick high school graduating senior. This student has not only proved herself on the golf course, lettering all four years of high school, in golf, but has excelled academically as well, graduating in the top 10% of her class. It is with great honor and admiration that this year we present the Don Ruggiero Athletic Scholarship to one of the most genuine and dedicated students of the 2021 Berwick High School graduating class to Claudia Geyser. Hello, my name is Mary Lee Scala. Seven years ago, my husband, Michael C. Scala, passed away within 30 days due to a very rare, aggressive, fatal disease called hemophagocytosis, HLH. By presenting this scholarship to a deserving senior accepted into a healthcare field, we are hoping to create more awareness of this deadly disease. As a former teacher in the Berwick Area School District, I was very impressed with the scholarship applications. My daughters and I have selected you, number 66, not only because you have chosen an excellent healthcare field, physician's assistant, but also because you are a distinguished honor student and a born leader who is extremely active in extracurricular activities and community volunteerism. We congratulate you as you have balanced your self-confidence, determination, and your strong work ethic. We are thrilled to present the Coach Michael C. Scala Memorial Scholarship of $250 to number 66. Congratulations. The Michael J. Kerfman Award is awarded to someone who not only exhibits um, a high quality of band playing, but also uh, a high quality of citizenship. And when I read this award, I immediately thought of you because of your work with Cinderella's Closet. Uh, I'm happy to announce that you are the winner of this award, and I hope it can help pay for a textbook or two. Take care. The Frank Elms Law Awards go to Michaela Hartzell. Hello, I'm Dave Kovach, president of the Stewart Tank Memorial Association. In 2004, an effort was started to bring home a Burrick built Stewart tank. 17 years later, as of today, two Stewarts have come home, along with a number of artifacts, and soon our museum will be open. A large part of our mission is to keep this history alive. To do this, we have gone to our youth. They are our future. Now on behalf of the entire Stuart Tank Board, I congratulate Hannah Hess as this year's scholarship winner. We wish Hannah well in her future endeavors and someday Hannah will be teaching her students about all the people that built and fought the tanks that were built here in Berwick, Pennsylvania. Douglas LeVan scholarship winners are Carly Howard. The Frank Elms Law Award goes to Carly Howard. The Douglas LeVan scholarship winners are Maya Kyle. Hi Maya, uh, since you have chosen to pursue a career in music, I'm happy to announce you are the winner of the Tim Jones Memorial Scholarship. So whether or not you decide to teach as a career or, or maybe do the performance thing, I know you'll be successful. Uh, just keep up the good work and never stop practicing. Hello, my name is Ralph Norse, the fourth, and this is my brother, Nicholas Norse, and we are here to present the Strive Scholarship. Our family created the Strive Scholarship in 1997 in honor of Dr. Ralph Norse III and a strong belief in providing opportunity to those who showed promise. He found a great joy when a team or person was able to persevere through an obstacle and enjoy success. 
our father, R.J. Norse, a longtime educator in the Burke School District, deeply believed in the ability of education to provide life-changing opportunities to young people. In 2019, our family combined this scholarship so it will continue the values of both uh, Dr. Ralph Norse and R.J. Norse uh, and assist a promising graduate in achieving their goals. This year, we chose a student who has overcome many obstacles and succeeded in their academic endeavors. After much careful consideration, we would like to award this year's Strive Scholarship Award to Maya Kyle. Congratulations. Congratulations. The Mary Elms Music Award goes to Maya Kyle. The Douglas LeVan Scholarship winners are Ellie Kozak. On behalf of Burwick Rotary Club, we would like to congratulate Ellie on your scholarship. Congratulations, Ellie! The Martha Kirshner Teaching Award goes to Harley Litweiler. The Douglas LeVan Scholarship winners are Kevin Metzger. The Frank Elms Law Award goes to Kevin Metzger. The Douglas LeVan Scholarship winners are Gianna Miller. Hello, my name is Trinell Bull and I am the girls varsity tennis coach. First of all, let me say congratulations to you, the entire class of 2021. You have persevered through a very challenging year and you are now on the precipice of graduating from Berwick High School. Each year, the Berwick girls tennis team awards a scholarship to an outstanding senior athlete who displays talents and skills in the areas of academic excellence, community service, leadership skills, and of course, tennis playing ability. This year, we have five graduating seniors and each one is worthy of this award. However, after much decision-making, the committee decided that this year's award should be presented to Gianna Miller. Congratulations, Gianna. Good luck at Syracuse and congratulations, class of 2021. I'm Captain Mark Golden, the Blue and Gold Officer for the Admissions Office of the United States Naval Academy. To the graduating class of 2021, you've worked hard for four years and you made it. Congratulations. Today, I'm going to focus on one of you who's excelled in both academics and sports, Rennie Murphy. On behalf of Vice Admiral Sean Buck, Superintendent of the United States Naval Academy, I'm pleased to report that candidate Rennie Murphy has been awarded an appointment to the U.S. Naval Academy and will be reporting for duty later this summer. This is a full four-year scholarship valued at $385,000, leading to a commission as an officer in the United States Navy or Marine Corps. This year, we had 8,000 applications for the Naval Academy. Out of that, only 1,250 were offered appointments. This was a competition from 50 states and seven territories. Congratulations, Rennie. Well done. Steve Schumann Girls Basketball Award, Rennie Murphy. I'd like to present the Medicine Shop Award to Alexis Neville. Congratulations and good luck in your future endeavors. Hello from Connecticut. My name is Michael Stenko, a proud member of the BHS class of 1978. And I'm really excited to join you to present the 2021 Paul J. and Marion S. Stenko Memorial Scholarship. My mom and dad, both children of Eastern European immigrants, believed in the transformative power of a college education. 
My dad graduated from Berwick in 1936 and received a scholarship to play football at Villanova, where he was a senior captain. He went on to a 10-year career in the NFL, playing for the Giants, Steelers, Redskins, and Bears. He taught phys ed for nearly 30 years, first at the Old Nescapec High School and then right here at BHS. He was perhaps most proud to have served as Berwick's very first girl softball coach. My mom was born in Scranton and was valedictorian of her class at Scranton Tech High School. She worked as a stenographer at the International Salt Company before marrying dad in 1948, returning with him to Berwick when his football career ended. Mom was always there to help me with my homework, looking over my answers, helping me to come up with the opening or the closing of a paper, and always reminding me to check my work. Without question, she was the smartest person I've ever known, and I have no doubt that she could have become a corporate CEO had she grown up in a different time. The education I received from the Berwick Area Schools has served me well. I earned bachelor's degrees in government and economics from Indiana University of Pennsylvania, and I did graduate work toward my MPA at Marywood. I began my career as a caseworker with the Columbia Montour Area Agency on Aging, spent 15 years as a senior level chapter executive with the American Red Cross, the first three in Berwick, and I'm now in my 20th year in higher education alumni relations, first at the University of Connecticut, and now as director of alumni relations at Eastern Connecticut State University. This $500 scholarship honors the legacy of my parents and is presented to a student who has excelled in academics as well as in school and community service and athletics. This year's recipient has done all of this and more, and I wish her the very best this fall when she goes off to Bloomsburg University to major in criminal justice. The winner of the 2021 Paul J. and Marion S. Stenko Memorial Scholarship is Jacqueline Neville. Congratulations. The Douglas LeVan Scholarship winners are Annika Newcomer. The Frank Elms Law Award goes to Annika Newcomer. The Wallace Oratorical Award goes to Annika Newcomer. The Douglas LeVan Scholarship winners are Logan Naroski. The Community Service Award Logan Naroski. The Douglas LeVan Scholarship's winners are Emily Wiemann. We have two community service awards. One of them is going to Anjani Peters. Mrs. Curley and I take great pleasure in awarding the Veteran Scholarship to a college-bound senior who has researched the relative service in the Armed Forces of the United States of America. The purpose of this award is not only a monetary one, but also one which encourages a student to research a relative's service and thus learn from their experience. We would like to thank all who applied for this scholarship. Mr. Curdy and I are happy to award this 2021 Veterans Scholarship to Anjani Peters. Congratulations. The Douglas LeVan Scholarship winners are Anjani Peters. The Frank Elms Law Award goes to Anjani Peters. The Frank Elms Law Award goes to Caden Reeder. Congratulations to the class of 2021. In spite of COVID and all the other distractions, you have made it to the finish line and in just a few short weeks, you will be on to your next phase of life. Uh, we're here to celebrate your accomplishments, and I'm here to present an award on behalf of the Daughters of the American Revolution. Uh, each year, we run a contest, and it is called the Good Citizen Award, and seniors from all the area high schools uh, write essays to enter the contest. A winner is selected, and that winner is I'm happy to say from Berwick High School this year. Um, and she will be receiving a certificate, a pin, and a check for $250. And she is Abigail Seeley. The Douglas LeVan Scholarship winners are 
Abigail Seely. The Douglas Levan Scholarship winners are Isabella Segura Suarez. Ray and Edna McBride Scholarship winners are Isabella Segura Suarez. Douglas Levan Scholarship winners are Maria Segura Suarez. The Ray and Edna McBride Scholarship winners are Maria Segura Suarez. Hi, Sam. Uh, you are one of three winners of the John Lang Memorial Scholarship. Now, there are subcategories, one for band, one for orchestra, and one for overall music. And I'm happy to let you know that you have been selected for overall music. Not only your excellence with the tuba thing, but bass, electric bass, the singing, the dancing. You, you are a consummate musician, and I applaud your efforts for being so involved with this and so many other things. Uh, I hope your future finds you well. I know you'll be as successful as you want to be. Take care. Congratulations, Broick High School Class of 2021. My name is Chuck Humphrey. And on behalf of my daughters, Krista Travelpiece and Alicia DiNardo, all three of us proud Burick High School graduates, we present the Alexis Nicole Humphrey Memorial Award in memory of our dear sweet daughter, Alexis. The award is given to a Berwick High School band member who has demonstrated um, going through some kind of trial and persevering. That award this year is given to Samuel Segura Suarez. Samuel, your story was inspiring. Keep reaching for the stars. Congratulations. The Ray and Edna McBride scholarship winners are Samuel Segura Suarez. Douglas LeVan scholarship winners are Tegan Shortledge. Hi, Olivia. Congratulations. You are one of three people selected as a winner for the Band Booster Scholarship. Um, hopefully you can use this scholarship to, to aid you in your future college endeavors. And it was really, really nice getting to know you this year. Keep playing. Hi, Millie. Uh, first off, I would like to say congratulations. You are one of three people selected uh, as a winner for the Band Booster Scholarship. Uh, it was really nice getting to know you this school year, both in band class and also music theory. Hopefully uh, you got something out of either that you can take with you. Once again, congratulations. On behalf of Berwick Rotary Club, we would like to congratulate Jason on his receipt of the Bud Fire Scholarship. Congratulations, Jason! It's a privilege to honor the 2021 graduate of Berwick High School and also the recipient of the Nescopec Class of 1967 award. On behalf of the last graduating class of Nescopec High School, we hope you will keep happy memories of your elementary school days. Your teachers gave you wing, wings to fly. May the encouragement that you received there allow you to reach new heights of success. From a little class with a big heart for Nescopec, we had only 33 graduates. We wish you exciting years ahead. May you always remember the pride you had in your special neighborhood school. And may that feeling of confidence serve you well in all that you do. Congratulations. Remember your roots, but always be ready to step up to the challenge. Greetings and congratulations to all the scholarship recipients. I am Catherine Matsko Malka, and I am representing the Matsko family to provide proudly Taylor Wittishek with the Ruth Peck Matsko and Michael J. Matsko Scholarship. Our mother, Ruth Matsko, served as a nurse in our father's medical practice and also as a school nurse in the Berwick Area School District. Our father practiced medicine in Berwick, and he was also the Berwick Area School District's physician. Their qualities of hard work and determination are the very ones that you, Taylor, have demonstrated by being successful in your academic performance and achievement. May you continue to be successful at, at 
Villanova University, our daughter's alma mater, as you pursue your degree and professional aspirations. Congratulations, Taylor, and best wishes to you. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Jim Matucci. I am representing the committee for the Patrick J. Matucci Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was founded in 2015 by Patrick's family and friends as a way of honoring him after his passing away that, that year. Patrick was a 1992 graduate of Berwick High School. He was valedictorian of his class and a National Merit Finalist. Upon graduating, he attended Yale University, graduating in 1996 with a Bachelor of Arts degree in History. He went on to attend the University of Pennsylvania School of Law, graduating in 1999. Following law school, he entered the field of corporate law, working in firms in Philadelphia, Northeastern Pennsylvania, and Radnor, Pennsylvania. The scholarship candidate that our committee selected that most exemplifies Patrick's academic excellence, his volunteerism, and concern for community is Taylor Woodishick. We would like to congratulate Taylor and wish her and all the excellent candidates the best in their future educational and career endeavors. Thank you. This is the conclusion of our virtual presentation. Thank you so much to all of our generous donors and our family and community members. Congratulations to the class of 2021.